going to check on my nephew's grave. And we got stopped by this. And just missed you, Rianda. You're safe. Nicholas Volk was not so lucky. These are the roots of that tree. I fell on the Nicholas Volk tomb. You can see it right there. And I don't know if you want to see this, but knocked over this headstone here and I think that's some coffins right there. At the edge. That tombstone that went down. Oh. Across the street from St. Cecilia's Church. An old pine tree. A lot of pine trees fell. Take a look at those roots. Is that Jimmy? That's Jimmy Monday. This is his grandmother's house. He was in it when his tree fell. He was also in his house when it went on fire. Jimmy, what's up? Going here. Hey, coach. Go in the garage and get that black thing apart. Just the tree. He's, uh, he's doing a lot better than us. He's in Florida. 80 degrees. That's Paul. Paul was one of the Little League coaches. This is on Hamilton, off of Engel. See, that's an old, get a close up of that. That's a rotted tree. Engel has got tons of these trees. They're all rotten on the inside. And you get a storm like this, boom. Bed cleaners on a border of Angle Way and Santa Fly. And right up there. This is on Cambridge, off of Knickerbocker. And I'm right across the road, heading north to south. And bada bing. And this is in front of Dwight Morrow High School, another huge, I guess that's a pine tree, some kind of evergreen tree. And here's that tree again in front of the high school. That's some footprint. Whoa. And it just goes on and on, what do you think that is? and on, and on, and on. It's right there. Gotta be over. Well over 100 feet. Bad day for old trees in Englewood. And here we are. Glenbrook Parkway. Across the street from Trial Park. And that is one big hole. And this one all the way across. 
and somehow spared this car. I don't know how. You can see there's just no damage on this car. There's the front. And here we are, Greece Avenue. Just off of Liberty Road. And check this out. Uh-huh. It's not a skateboard ramp. That is the sidewalk pulled up. One giant slab of concrete. Looks like that was newly laid. Bam! Right into the neighbor's yard. And that's it. Now we're on the corner of Knickerbocker and Liberty, looking south, and you can tell this was one old rotted tree, and it broke in multiple places. Here's the foot of it. Let's try to show you what's going up right there. Look at that. Kind of beautiful in a way. Unless you gotta clean it up. And took down another tree. Another old rotted tree. Anglewood, city of rotten trees. Good thing you weren't parked here. Go to school. Um, um, McLeod? Oh, McLeod. McLeod, okay. Yeah, yeah, rock. Yeah, I don't think any trees fell on McLeod. Some trees fell in front of the high school, though. Yeah. Look at this tree. Oh my gosh. This is Liberty Road looking east. Wait, can I tell can I This is probably why my electricity has been out since 3 o'clock Saturday, March 13th. Right on the power lines. And here's the tree it came from. Another old rotted tree that should have been taken down years ago. And this is Green's house on Central Avenue. And this one was bad, as you can see. Right on the roof. Oh, Poor Mrs. Green. From this angle, from this angle looks like it might have went through. It's hard to tell. This is Decatur off the of forest. A big slab of concrete. It's amazing how that picks up in one piece. And watch. How long this one is? Going, going into the roof. There's all this ground so soft from all the snow melting. There's nothing holding in those roots.